I'm sitting on the Hansa 458 today and I'm taking you for a tour around this beautiful boat. So far what I have seen, it looks like a perfect boat for trips of several days length. And I will show you everything that is there to see. It has 46 feet of length. So that's quite a bit of length to be going on with. And as you can see already, it's a lot of room around me so it can easily fit up to eight people depending on the kind of cabin concept you're going for. I'm sitting in the cockpit now. This is the first area that you notice when you come on board. This is where the helmsman seats are, but we will have a look at them a little later. As you can see, there's a lot of room beside me on um, the benches here. I would guess about four people would have room on this bench and there's one on the other side of the boat as well. So again, eight people would comfortably fit. And as you can see, there's a little table in the middle. It's folded away now, but I can just pull it up. There's a click and then it's fixed up here. Of course, I can do that on the other side as well. And then I have a full size table in the middle here with all four people on both sides having access to the table. Of course, when I only need the one side, there is still enough room to maneuver around the table on the other side. So that's quite convenient. And of course, it's just as easy to push it back down. And we have it back there again. What you can see behind me on this boat, we have a spray hood installed. So depending whether you want to have this or not, you can decide to have it or not. So that of course gives us a bit of a shady area around the entrance and of course a bit of uh, cover from sun and rain as well when you come up from the saloon area. What I have noticed and what I really like is right next to the staircase, before we go down, we have a little storage area back here. So it's perfect for your sun lotion, for your sunglasses or just a drink. And it's very easily accessible from the entire cockpit area. And of course, very close to the helmsman's positions as well. In the cockpit area, just below the benches to both sides, we have the cockpit lockers. So a lot of storage space just in the cockpit area. It's very easy to open as well. And it actually opens kind of by itself. And the hood stays up here. And inside you can store whatever you need. So everything that you don't want lying around in your cockpit can be put there. For example, the covers for your table or for your steering wheel when you're in the port, for example, or the um, swim ladder that you uh, see here. Or of course, just cool drinks that you want to have stored out here and not have to run back inside the saloon every time you need them. So it's very easy and just as easily they can be pulled down again. And we have that on the other side of the boat as well. So a bit of storage space can never hurt in the cockpit area. As you can see before me, the cockpit table also has a handrail that follows it the entire way. So there's always a place to hold on to if the boat is moving there's some waves going on you can always hold on to something which of course is a big issue when it comes to safety on a boat as you can also see right next to it there's a compass installed into the cockpit table it's easily visible from both helmsman's positions which we will see next so that is very convenient right in the middle of the boat what you can also decide to have but what we don't have here is an additional fridge which will be installed into the cockpit table as well so if you decide to have your drinks really nice and cold at all times, you can also decide to have that done. I'm sitting at the starboard side helmsman position. You can see there's a carbon steering wheel on this boat. You can decide to have that. It gives the whole boat a bit of a sporty look, but you can also opt for a leather cover, for example. So that's completely up to you, whatever you want your boat to look like on the outside, you can decide. And the same goes for the inside part as well. I have all the navigation instruments that I need here. There's my electronic chart plotter right next to me and the control for the autopilot. If you want to have a bow thruster, that would be controlled from here as well, but we don't have that on this boat here. Right next to me, I have the engine control. The engine is a 57 horsepower diesel engine, which can be extended to 80 horsepower as well if you want to go for a bit more speed and it's fueled by a tank that can hold up to 210 liters of diesel fuel. You can see that I can also sit to the side of the helmsman position. It's very comfortable back here. I can still see everything that I need to see. So there's 360 degree visibility, no matter if I'm sitting next to the steering wheel or to the side here, because through the spray hood, I can see everything. And also from here, I can look all the way to the bow 
of my boat. Also very easily accessible is the big winch here and all my sheets are coming down from there. You can see they're all very nicely hidden. There's nothing lying around anywhere and we will see a bit later on where the other side is and where those sheets all come from. And in order to keep all the helmsman seat area clean from the sheets lying around, I can store them in a little store box that's right beneath me here, just under the bench here. So there they all are. They're nicely hidden away. Nothing is lying around and no way I can trip over anything. Just behind the helmsman positions, we have the bathing platform. Right now it's still up here, but I will try to lower it. It should be very easy and um, easily manageable by myself. So we will see how that goes. It's um, a very nice system. So we have the two flaps on this side and on the other side, I open them up. And then there is this rope that I just slowly let go. And that makes the bathing platform go down into the water. So it will be lowered very nicely and safely down there. I've opened the bathing platform, so it just kind of falls down from the back of the boat. It's very easy, I can do it by myself because there is a hydraulic mechanism behind it. So it doesn't just fall down and it's gone. It's rather slow and I just hold onto the rope to slowly um, bring it down safely. And when I'm sitting down here, it's, a, it's really beautiful. I'm very close above the water and of course I also have the uh, ladder that I can attach here if I don't want to jump or better if I don't want to climb back up after swimming I can install that down here as well and when I come back on board there is a little shower right there in one of the helmsman seats so it's a fresh water shower to rinse off and not make everything salty. This is the second helmsman's position so as I said before you can choose which side you're on you can easily change positions during sailing as well so while sailing upwind just choose which side is more comfortable for you to be standing on and what I also noticed is that we can open up the helmsman benches so we can just push it up and below here we have a fresh water connection so there's a little sink there as well very convenient right next to the bathing platform you can also choose to have a barbecue installed right next to it and that of course would be very convenient too because everybody can be sitting in the cockpit area right next to us here and be served his barbecue from back there. While walking around the sidewalk towards the bow of our boat I noticed that there are no steps at all so there's no real way for me to trip over anything which I usually do a lot so no sheets lying around, no steps, and it's rather wide as well. So I don't even trip over my own feet. As you can see, there's also a sea rail um, next to me here. It's rather high up. If we weren't in the marina and there would be some waves going on, that keeps me safe here. And on my right side, there's also a handrail. So there's always a place to hold on to. As you can see below the right surface here is an anti-slip surface. I can't slip off. You can, of course, also decide to have some more teak, as we have seen in the um, cockpit area, to have along the sidewalk here as well. That's completely up to you. Just talk to your dealer what's possible there. I'm sitting midships on the foredeck now. As you can see beside me, there are four really big skylights. So they bring all the light down into the saloon, which you will see a bit later on. They can all be opened to create a really good cross breeze inside as well, get some fresh air inside. And usually you can also put down some cushions where I'm sitting now. So if you want to use this area here as a nice sun lounge, you can also do that. I'm stopping on my way to the bow of our boat because I want to show you a system that Hansa has invented themselves. It's called the Hansa Easy Sailing System. And there is um, one part of this is right next to me here. It's called a self tacking jib and it's a system that allows the foresail to be tacked automatically. And um, this is here and that is one part of the easy sailing concept. And there's another one that's all the sheets that you can see here that come down from the mast. They are fed away into the side of our boat, into the deck, so to say, and they will all be led to the back of uh, our boat to the helmsman positions. And we will see um, where they come out. And what that makes to the, uh, that does to the foredeck is that it is very clean, very tidy, nothing is lying around and there's not really a chance of tripping over any uh, sheets lying around. I've made my way all the way to the bow of our boat. As you can see, there's another flap in the floor here. 
I can open it up very easily. It just stays up there and doesn't fall down. And there's a massive storage space down there. It's so big, I would guess I would probably fit myself 10 times or more easily in there and could still stand up. And from in there, I also have access to the anchor, which I don't really need that often because the anchor is controlled by an electrical winch. So just on the push of a button, the anchor will be lowered into the water and pulled back up. So the flap down there is really just for maintenance work and all the rest is just this really big storage area. After making my way from the very aft of our boat to the very front, right in the bow now, I really want to see what's going on inside. So we will have a look around in the saloon now. When we come downstairs, we enter the saloon area, but before we have a look around there, I will show you the pantry. It's right here, so all the galley area that you can see, that's all the space that I need for everything I need to do in the kitchen. There's a lot of worktop, but everything I need is hidden behind it. So, for example, here I can just open up the worktop and there's my sink below, and whenever I don't need it, I just close it back down and I have more space to cut my veggies and whatever you need. Next to the sink, we have the fridge. It opens from the top, so it makes very easy access without bending down. But for the more heavy stuff, we can also enter the fridge from down below. So for organizing everything inside, that makes it easier as well. Right next to the fridge, we have the stove. It's a seagoing stove, so it will move a little um, depending on the waves so that you always have a flat top. And again, when we open up the worktop, it just slides back there. It's out of the way. It doesn't even get splashed with anything because it just vanishes into the wall, so to say. And then we have the stove here as well. More worktop and as you can see, a lot of storage space behind it. So we have a lot of little cupboards here that we can open up to put whatever we don't want flying around. And I also notice a little skylight up here. So I can open that window. It's right above the stove. So for cooking, of course, that makes it easier to get rid of all the nasty smells that might be there. On the other side of the galley, I have more options to store my things. So a lot of extra cupboards here and a very neat cupboard down below. When I open it, the rubbish bins just kind of fall out. So they're nicely out of the way. I don't have to see them or smell them. Whenever I need them, I just slide them out of the cupboard. I'm sitting in the saloon now. You can see there's a lot of sofa space beside me. I would guess five to six people would comfortably fit on this couch here. We have the table in the middle and to even get more seating space, we have an extra stool back here. So this one is fixed to the floor, but we can still push it backwards. So um, there's still room for another person there and we can open it up as well. So additional storage, for example, for the big pots or pans that we don't often use and that would be in the way in the galley area. Right next to it, here on the side of the table, I can open up this little cupboard and there's a wine rack in here. So everything that I need when I'm sitting here with my family or friends is right there next to me. The table is now folded in half. I can easily just pop it open and now I have a full-size table. What I really like about it is that there's um, this little rack in the middle here, so I can put all my drinks here or my bag of chips and nothing will fall out even if there's a bit of rough sea. I can also take this entire thing out, pop it back in, and that gives me the flat top of the entire table. So if I need more space, for example, when I'm having dinner or lunch, and there's a lot of plates here that I might want to use that space in the middle, I can also do that. You notice that it's a very light wood that's in here. It's on the walls, the doors, all the furniture. And we have this gray cushions um, behind me. So that gives us a very elegant look. But of course, that's completely up to you. So you can decide if you want a lighter cushion color and a darker wood, for example, completely different materials, different colors. So this boat will be completely your boat and exactly what you want it to be. So it doesn't have to be this color scheme that you're choosing. 
what you can see behind me also in the light wood that we have here is a lot of storage space so everything we need in our saloon area we can put up here and all the storage will stay open as well so nothing is falling down when I'm having my hand inside it. There's a little window there, we have windows up here as well and of course the skylights of the saloon so there's a lot of places for natural light to come in so that makes the whole saloon very very bright. We don't really need extra lighting but we have it of course, we have the little reading lights and we have a lot of indirect lighting which gives us a very nice mood as I find of course now it's daytime so we can't really appreciate it that much but at night time there's a lot of little lights coming from everywhere so it's very cozy down here and of course we're safe from the weather so right now it's raining outside but in here I'm very warm and comfortable I don't feel the wind I don't feel the rain so this is really comfortable for an area on a boat I'm sitting on the port side of our saloon you can see there's even more seating space here so another sofa to fit two or three people which I would guess would give us a total of 10 to 12 people that would fit into our saloon and all of them would have their own seat so a big family gathering would totally be possible on this boat. You can also see behind me a lot of extra storage space. We have the same wood here as I showed you on the starboard side and I can't stress enough how important the colors are. So you can always decide on the colors and materials of the cupboards, of all the furniture, of the cushions, even the worktop in the kitchen or the floor. That's completely up to you so the boat becomes really your boat, exactly what you want it to be. Behind me, in the top here, we have a little opening that's the heating. So we can have heating and air conditioning in here. So whatever the weather's doing outside, in here we can be warm and dry or a bit cooler if it's in the middle of the summer, of course. So that works from here. Right next to, uh, to it, you see this little circle. This is where you can put your phone if it can be charged wirelessly. So you just put it down there and whatever you're doing beside it, this will just work right next to you. Up here we have a speaker. It depends on your wishes, what kind of entertainment system you want to have installed in your boat. So if you just want music and speakers or maybe a TV installed in the saloon as well, that can all be arranged. That's completely up to you. And you can see I have closed up the window behind me. So all the windows have blinds when you need your privacy or just want a bit of darkness down here, that can be done very easily as well. I'm sitting below the really big skylight in the saloon. You can see from above there's a lot of natural light coming down. There's four window panels above me and all of them can be opened separately. So when I open all of them and maybe some of the little side windows or the entrance, there will be a really nice cross breeze in here so we can get a lot of fresh air inside the saloon additionally to the natural light that we get. And even though I'm inside, it kind of feels like I'm outside because of all the light up there. It's really beautiful and still warm and comfortable down here. When I want, in the evenings, I can put up some insect screens. So even if there's light on inside, but it's dark outside, I don't have any insects coming in from above. Or when I need my privacy down here or just um, want it a bit darker, then I can also put up the blinds and that creates a nice darkness down here as well. This is the navigation area. It's right in our saloon. So right next to all the action where the family and the friends are sitting at the sofa. As you can see, there's a lot of room for all my seat charts. When I don't need them, I can just open up the desk here and store everything away so nothing is flying around. Behind us here, we have everything that we need. So most importantly, we have the radio. So if we're in distress, we can control that from here. And we also have this panel here that gives us control of all the electronics on board. For example, now only the top light is on. So that means that all the cabin lights are switched on right now. As we're in the marina, we don't need all the rest. So for example, this controls the fridge, the air conditioning, all the position lights that we have outside on deck. We don't need that now, but from here, I always know exactly what is switched on and what is switched off. As you can see, I'm sitting on a separate stool here. So it's not part of the sofa, it's a separate navigation stool. And when I don't need it, I can also just fold it away under the navigation table so it's out of the way and nobody trips over it. 
This is the port side guest cabin. There's a double bed on which I'm sitting now. It's almost two meters long, so enough space even for tall people. And you can see that I can sit upright here and even in the back there it's not a too tight fit. So it should work out fine to not bump your knees on anything. There's little reading lights here. We have a bit of storage around, a big cupboard as well. And we have windows on three different sides, so there's also a lot of natural light coming in, which makes it a rather bright guest cabin. This is on the port side. We also have a double cabin, which looks exactly the same on the starboard side, just behind the galley area. This is the guest bathroom. It's accessible from the saloon, so it's um, right next to the guest cabin as well, which is behind the door here, and just across from our galley area. There's enough room for everything that you need in your bathroom. So there's a sink area, which is really nice with this um, stone finish on the back here. The mirror can be opened up to reveal storage space that of course is also needed in the bathroom. We have um, a toilet here that can be electric or a normal seawater toilet, that's up to you. We have more storage space down there. And I'm standing in the shower now. So there's a little door that we can um, pull to the front just to keep the water in the shower and don't splash everything else. The shower itself is on that side behind me and down here I have a little seat where I can sit down as well and a little um, place to store my shampoo bottles as well. So this is where we get into the double cabin that I've shown you before. This door here is the bathroom and we have the other double cabin on the starboard side of course. If you prefer to have even more sleeping spaces, it's also an option to erase that bathroom and instead put a single cabin there. So that would give us a total of nine sleeping places in total if you prefer that. And then of course the master cabin would also have to be split into two double cabins. While coming down I noticed the hinges at the stairs. So I can open it up. There's a mechanism behind it that keeps the stairs up here so they don't fall down. And when I look down here, there's a very easy access to the engine room. So I have access to everything that I need, whatever kind of maintenance work I need to do. So I'm dry down here, warm down here. I don't have to crawl around in some basement kind of space. So everything is right here. There's actually a few more flaps on both sides to enter the um, whole engine room from the side as well, but this one is the biggest and the easiest for access from the saloon. I'm sitting in the master cabin now. You can see it's a very large bed that I'm sitting on, almost two meters long, and I would say almost as wide as well, so a lot of room to spread out. All the walls are full of open storage areas and we also have two cupboards, one for each person and a separate shoe cupboard as well. So a lot of storage space to put everything that you need. You also notice now that the sun came out, this cabin is really light. There's a lot of natural light coming in because we have those two skylights again. We can open them and just as in the saloon, we can close them with an insect screen or with real blinds to close out the light for the night. And there's little windows on both sides, so there's more light coming in as well. You can see that in the master cabin, there's enough standing height here, so I'm maybe 1 meter 70 high, so even a 2 meter person wouldn't have too much trouble standing. And the entire master cabin is pretty much that height, so it's not a problem. If you decide to want more space for sleeping, as I mentioned before, you can decide to have two double cabins instead of the one master cabin. So the entire layout can look completely different for your personal boat. Just talk to your dealer to see what's possible and what's best for you. If you decide to have the one master cabin as we have seen now, then you might want to have this option as well. There's two doors to the bathrooms. On my left there's the toilet and sink area and on my right there's a separate shower. So while you're getting your makeup done your husband can already be in the shower and nobody gets um, sprayed with water from everywhere and everything is nicely separated. So this was the tour of our Hansa 458. I hope you enjoyed it. There was a lot to see today. And as you saw, it's a perfect boat for either a family or just a group of friends. But you can, of course, 
also just be one person or two to safely navigate it. If you decide to have the big cabin concept, there's room for eight people who can sleep on board. So it's a great boat for a bigger group of people to go away. One of them could be yours for 205,000 euros. Just talk to one of our dealers. They are in pretty much every country in the world. So there will be one in your area and they will be able to tell you exactly what's possible to create your dream boat. <music>